हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दोस्त हु आर फीलिंग सो दिस कॉन्सेप्ट न्यूमेरिकल प्रॉब्लम्स फ्रॉम एन सी आर टी टेक्सट बुक आर यूजफुल टू यू प्लीज काइंडली सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस टू पॉइंट टेन फ्रॉम मोशन इन स्ट्रेट लाइन एज पर द न्यू टेक्सट बुक A man walks on a straight road from his home to market 2.5 km away with a speed of 5 km per hour. Finding the market closed, he instantly turns and walks back home with a speed of 7.5 km per hour. So what is the magnitude of average velocity? Average speed of the man over the interval of time 0 to 30 minutes 0 to 50 minute 0 to 40 minute here we can assume the situation like this this is the home and this is suppose say market and he is uh, moving from home to market the distance is 2.5 km initially he is moving with a speed v1 from home to market with 5 km per hour he observed that the market closed and he instantly turns and walks back home with a speed of 7.5 km per hour in the return journey from market to the home he is moving with the speed of 7.5 km per hour now we need to find out the magnitude of average velocity and average speed at a different intervals of time so first of all the given value the distance between the home and market suppose if you are taking s is equal to 2.5 km and he is moving forward initial speed v1 is equal to suppose say 5 km per hour as per given data then time taken in this case is equal to s by v1 that is 2.5 km divided by 5 km per hour km will be get cancel that is half an hour that is also 30 minutes that means he will take 30 minutes to travel from home to market so here t1 is suppose say 30 minute that is also nothing but half an hour so this is time taken to reach the market in the return journey we will take the time taken suppose say t2 time taken to return oh if we are taking t2 that is equal to s by v2 S is 2.5 km and V2 is 7.5. That is equal to 1 by 3 hour. We can convert this one in terms of minutes means 20 minute. That means for return journey it will take only 20 minutes. That is nothing but 1 by 3 hour. So this is the information as per given data. time we have calculated t1 and t2 coming to 
फर्स्ट सब पार्ट द टाइम इंटरवेल जीरो टू थर्टी मिनिट वो वो द इंटरवेल ऑफ टाइम फ्रॉम जीरो टू थर्टी मिनिट्स इन दिस केस डिस्टेंस एंड डिस्प्लेसमेंट एक्चुअली फ्रॉम होम टू मार्केट ही टेक्स थर्टी मिनिट्स देर फोर ऑटोमेटिकली वी हैव डिस्प्लेसमेंट इज इक्वल टू टू पॉइंट फाइव किलोमीटर ओनली एंड द टाइम टेकन is nothing but 30 minutes that is nothing but half an hour therefore first part in one the magnitude of average velocity is equal to displacement divided by time taken here that is 2.5 divided by half an hour that comes 5 kilometers per hour while coming to b here average speed average speed value also will be same here that is a distance divided by same time taken that is 2.5 km divided by half an hour that is 5 km per hour here the person is moving from home to market within 0 to 30 minutes so distance is equal to displacement and the magnitude of average velocity is equal to the average speed both will be equal why means distance displacement both are same while coming to the second sub part over the interval of time 0 to 50 minute so 0 to 50 minute means if you observe here for forward journey is taking 30 minutes for reverse journey is taking 20 minutes that means initial position final position both are same that means he is coming back to the home during this time interval the man returns to his home and time taken here is equal to 50 minutes that is nothing but if you are converting in terms of hour 50 by 60 nothing but 5 by 6 hour therefore in this a the magnitude of average velocity is equal to displacement by time taken
displacement is zero by t that is nothing but zero kilometer per hour. While coming to average speed, while coming to average speed is equal to total distance. divided by total time taken so total distance is nothing but for forward motion 2.5 km for backward 2.5 km so total distance traveled will be 2.5 plus 2.5 and time taken is nothing but 5 by 6 hour so that is 5 by 5 by 6 it will becomes 6 km per hour. While coming to third part, over the interval of time from 0 to 40 minutes. In this case, for forward from home to market is taking T1 is equal to 30 minutes and distance is 2.5 kilometer. But while returning journey is taking the time T2 is nothing but only 20 minutes. That means what the total time taken 0 to 40 minutes. 0 to 40 minutes means here exactly it will reach as this point. <coughs> Suppose say some point X. What we can write? Displacement is equal to 2.5 kilometer and it is returning back half in that, that is minus 1.25 kilometer, that is 1.25 kilometer. But while coming to distance, Distance is equal to 2.5 plus 1.25, that is 3.75 kilometer. So, distance travel is 3.75 kilometer within the time interval 40 minutes. If you are converting this one in terms of hour, it will be 2 by 3 hour. Therefore, the magnitude of velocity present but average velocity the magnitude of average velocity is equal to displacement by time taken Displacement is 1.25, time taken is 2 by 3, that is equal to 1.875 kilometers per hour. And uh, B, average speed is equal to total distance. divided by total time again. Total distance here is nothing but 3.75 and time taken is 2 by 3. This value will give us 5.625 kilometer per hour within this duration. So these are the 
the magnitude of average velocity and average speed in the time interval between 0 to 30 minute, 0 to 50 minute and 0 to 40 minute. And if you are feeling that these solutions are helpful for you, kindly subscribe the channel.